simple flip of a switch brings light, heat, power. But capturing the force of a river, controlling a nuclear reaction, or transforming the light of the sun into electricity is anything but simple. Next, Power Plants on Modern Marvels. Electricity. It makes us masters of our environment. Yet most of us take it for granted. Deprived of it, we get a sense of what life was like more than 150 years ago, before power transformed our society and our lives. In the middle of the 19th century, a day's work was just that. Labor that necessarily took place during the sunlit hours. Work itself was backbreaking, manual, mostly unaided by machinery. The arrival of night meant retreat indoors from the dangers associated with the pervasive darkness. Over the next century and a half, we took a world which had dominated us and transformed it into this. An electrified environment which responds to our every need. We control our climate, process information, and tend to our health with power that flows hundreds of miles across an interconnected transmission grid that encompasses the entire country. Electric current, the flow of charged electrons, intimately influences how we live, yet most of us understand little about how it works. In 600 BC, the Greeks first discovered that static electricity could be generated by rubbing amber. It wasn't until the 18th century, however, that Benjamin Franklin theorized that electrical fluid might be composed of particles. By harnessing this flow of electrons, or current, inventors and industrialists more than a century later laid the foundation for what would become the colossus of electrical generation, the modern power plant. It can be anything from a red-hot behemoth that once started consumes trainloads of coal without interruption for years. Or it might be a nuclear plant, incongruously perched at the edge of the shimmering Pacific Ocean. A plant that on its own produces 20% of Southern California's energy. Or maybe it is simply this, a house that generates more energy than it consumes and returns that surplus to the electrical grid for public use. A new model for the future of power plants. But whatever guys contemporary power plants take, the basics of their design and their integration into commercial and domestic life were forged more than a hundred years ago in a conflict between two giants of industry and invention, Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse. The outcome of the fierce competition between these two men would ultimately dictate how electricity would be generated and transmitted. But their first battle would be waged over how to bring safer light to the cities of America. Early natural gas lighting systems in homes, for example, on occasion were quite dangerous. They had no shut-off valves, so if the, if the lamp went out... Uh